Hello everyone. Check out my disaster. I mean, seriously. There's my little unicorn. There's my other little unicorn. Oh, this is just unacceptable. Right? Ridiculous. Okay. I know. I know you know that unicorn. Okay. So, I just had... Okay, here's my Jamberry swag robe I got at the executive retreat. I love it. So, I look like not great. Sort of like crap on a stick. Crap on a stick. That's not even very nice to say. I'm going to flip this around. I told you, I look kind of crazy. It's been a rough day. Um, I just um, have been thinking about vision again, because I'm always thinking about vision. And so I pulled out um, a book that I have. And so I had to turn my ceiling fan on. I miss your face too. So I just want to, I just want to read. This is crazy. I'm going to read to you out of this, but this is really impactful to me. Um, because there's been a lot going on this week and there's so many things in here. It's going to be quick. I promise leaders not only have an eye on the horizon, they can see just beyond it. Their firm grasp of the present is based on their never ending hope for the future. They can deal with things as they are because they have dreamed of what they can be. I really love that. I'm going to read that again. Leaders can deal with things as they are because they have dreamed of what they can be. I love that. Um, I'm dealing with some stuff right now and I can deal with it because I know what's going to be. So it goes on to say they have a vision. Um, without it, people perish. One of the marks of leadership is the ability to look beyond the immediate to a better, brighter tomorrow. Uh, hello? I'm going to say that again because I like to do that. That's what I did when I was a teacher. One of the marks of leadership is the ability to look beyond the immediate to a better, brighter tomorrow. So, if you are not thinking that right now is so awesome, I hope that you're looking for the better, brighter tomorrow. I'll tell you a book in a sec. Um, for example, a leader looks at vacant land and sees a thr thriving business. They see a skeletal framework and envision a skyscraper. They meet with a casual acquaintance and anticipate a future partnership. Meet a casual acquaintance and anticipate a future partnership. I hope you relate that uh, to your team building. Leaders are not satisfied with the status quo. They have an inner desire for the next level. Time and inconvenience are mere powers to be moved toward the ultimate capture, whatever that's. Well, leaders imagine a future that is better than the present and they look for ways to make it happen. I love that. Leaders imagine a future that is better than the present and look for ways to make it happen. We make everything that we want happen. And if you want a better future, you can't dwell in the negative or the what's not right now, right now or what's not working for you. You have to make the positive happen. You have to get out there and work for it. Love that stuff. I just, I'm not reading that. That's just me. I'm just saying that. You know, imagining a future better than your present. And then you take that to your team. You take that to your downline. I hope that's what I'm bringing to you. You know, that your future is so much brighter. So, um, <laughs> I wear jam colors all the time. Not just on Periscope days. Because um, purple was my favorite color long before Jamberry. Um, it says, leaders are not interested in what's happening now they are interested in what's happening next. So if you didn't recruit 74,000 people in Australia, who cares? There's still so much opportunity 
right in our own backyards. Um, I was just at the executive retreat and some of the numbers that I learned, you know, 4% of households have ever, you know, purchased Jamberry. I'll have to go look for the exact slide, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I mean, it's so amazing. So think about that. You are not interested as a leader sometimes in what's happening now. You're interested in what's happening next. Yes, you want to, you know, be taking care of your now customers and your now team. I don't ever want you to be so focused on the next that you're one, not enjoying the now and you're one, not taking care of the people in your now, but that you don't get, that you enjoy the now. Don't get so caught up in if the now is not a great thing. So the name of this book is Minute Motivation for Leaders um, by Stan Toller. Quick inspiration for the time of your life. I'll hold the book up. Minute Motivation for Leaders, Stan Toller. I got it in the airport <laughs> a couple of years ago. Um, it's one of those business books and it's really quick every day. It just gives you, you know, leaders are credible. That's what I just flipped open to telling the truth is important. Being believed is more important. Um, here's another day. Leaders prioritize tasks to be done. Here's another day. Leaders value team diversity. And this isn't just a direct sales book. This is, you know, anybody in leadership in any type of a company. So anyway, I just really, I wanted you to think about that today. Um, and I want you to have a great weekend. And I'll talk to you soon. And I'm going to work on cleaning off my desk.